Hi guys and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So today we're going to talk about a couple of hauls I've recently got. They weren't on the same day, it was on separate days. I think I got one last week. No, I got one, <laughs> I think I got one at the start of the week on Monday and I got one yesterday as well which is Thursday. So we're just going to talk about them briefly. There isn't a huge amount but there's, there's enough. Um, I did get quite a lot in the sales as well, but mainly we're going to be talking about hair care. Now guys, I know I talk about my hair a lot in these videos. Ever since I've had my hair done, um, I've spoke about them a lot, but it's just because I feel like crap about my hair. And I know, like to you guys, it looks fine, you know, some, some of you guys have been really nice and said it looks lovely. But you can't really see just how straw-like it feels. Um, I'm using some shampoo and conditioner that's been recommended by the new hairdresser that I'm going to be going to on a regular basis just so that she can repair the damage the previous hairdresser's done. Um, I know it seems like by having a haircut, how can the hairdresser have done that much damage? I'm going to be going into that in a separate video, otherwise this video would be so, so long. And I'm going to give it another month and we're going to see... We're going to talk about what happened in that hairdressers that day and we're going to see um, if there's any difference. I wish I could get someone to take pictures of the back of my head so you can see just how bad it is. Maybe when I go to my sister's next time I'll ask her to do that. Um, and then we're going to, because it's mainly like here, which is where she didn't cut it properly, um, according to the new hairdresser anyway. It's not just me saying that and slagging my previous hairdresser off because she wasn't even my hairdresser in the first place. My mum just made me an appointment there. Anyway, I'm digressing and I'm talking about what I should be talking in a month's time. Um, so my plan now is to show you some products that I'm going to be using for the next few months. Um, somebody on Instagram actually has um, kind of restored my faith. Um, she uses the shampoo and conditioner that I've been told to get and her hair's looking lovely now so I'm hoping that mine would be the same so we'll talk about that as I go through the products um, and yeah let's just get into it I am trying my best to get it back to what it was before I had the haircut um, like I said I'll be talking about this in more detail in the next couple of months um, but we'll show you what I'm going to be using on my hair for the next couple of months and seeing if that helps so I had to put that in as an intro. I know it's an extremely long intro, guys, but just so that you know, I know I'm probably annoying some of you with the fact that I talk about my hair constantly, and I'm not even a vain person. When we first was told that we couldn't go out anywhere because of, you know what, I needed a haircut so, so badly, and when we were told that we couldn't go out anywhere and businesses had closed, um, I wanted my haircut. I chopped my hair myself. You know, so I'm not, like, I just went like that just to make it a little bit shorter. So I'm not, like, that bothered about my hair. But when it, when already thick hair gets frizzy and, you know, is in bad condition, then you, you just feel a bit crap about yourself. And that's all it is. Um, I'm going to try, like, from here going forward not to talk about it as much. But just know that I do feel quite bad about it. Um, and I do appreciate your comments, but I am trying my best to sort it out. I've been taking advice from my hairdresser. So yeah, we're just gonna leave that there now and just carry on with the makeup content. So, I placed an order online with Boots. I saw that they had an offer on the shampoo and conditioner that my hairdresser told me to buy for my hair she did say to me she said it's very very dehydrated you're gonna need something that puts moisture back into it so i saw that they had an offer i have used them once already got dints in them so yeah i've used them already you can get really big ones of these but i didn't know if the shampoo and conditioner would work um so you can get i mean i feel like five i think it's 500 ml isn't it no, 400. I feel like 400 mils big enough anyway, but you can get bigger ones like super size. My hairdresser said that B&M do them, so if these work, then I'll just go down there and try and save a bit of money. So these should have been £6 each, and I got them for £4. So we've got the shampoo. So that's the shampoo there. 
So it's the Bedhead Resurrection Super Repair Shampoo for weak, brittle hair. So that's one she's recommended because my hair is weak and brittle. She wouldn't have recommended that if it's not that way and um, it's super hydrating as well so um, I'm just putting that out there it might not look like it's dry and brittle but it seriously is guys you need to be up close and personal and actually touch the back of my head like when I've got it up here I can you know I can appreciate what you're seeing it, it doesn't actually feel that bad it still feels pretty bad but it doesn't feel as bad as like when I touch the back of my hair there so that's the shampoo, the condition is the same, it just has a grey top so you can kind of differentiate that this one is conditioner um, and it's the super repair conditioner for weak brittle hair. So I got both of those and they've dropped on the floor and then I saw this, I didn't want to pay this price because I feel like it's ridiculous money for a comb, um, so I saw this, it's £8 and it's the Lee Stafford Double Lift Pick Lift and Add Volume for the Love of Curls so I thought normally like when I'm out of the shower I, I bend my hair back and I just kind of like tossle the curls with my hands I thought I'd try this um, because it mentioned something about that the fact that it doesn't snag so it's got longer it's got like longer comb here and then you turn it round and it's a bit shorter Hope you're getting that on camera. Um, and then on the back of this it says lift and boost volume. I don't need the volume but lift maybe. Uh, without adding frizz. I definitely don't need the frizz. With this double lift pick for curly and coily hair. Speed up your style time with confidence that the strong sturdy double row of smooth rounded teeth will volumise without snagging. Wear your curls your way. I don't need volumising, but it, it does look a good one. And I do only use it once. I don't continuously go in with it once. Once I've kind of separated the curls, I'll um, just pop it away and I'll just put mousse through my hair like that. Um, so, yeah, there is that. And I've even tried to get a lighter mousse than the previous mousse that I showed you when I did one of the last hauls. I bought so many products, guys, just on hair care. I would never in a million years have spent this much on hair care. I don't even like to think how much I've spent because I've just bought some Aussie products as well which my hairdresser again is telling me that she said to me Aussie products the thing is with that they've got quite a lot of protein in and protein over time isn't good for your hair it dries it out obviously I don't want my hair to be dried out any more than it already is so I'm kind of not using that at the moment which is a waste of money I think I'll go using it maybe once a fortnight until it's gone and then not repurchase it. It's the Aussie, I think, deep moisture that I've got. But again, we will be talking about this in the next couple of months. I'll show you all the products that I've tried over the last couple of months. I do want to try a product by Wow. Um, I believe they're a good brand. So if all this doesn't work, then I'll get something from them. What else have we got in here? Oh, the mousse that I've got. No, we've got a hair mask. Right, so I don't want to be shampooing and conditioning every day. I know a few people that shampoo and condition every second day. I've never been that type of person either. I can get away with a week without shampooing and conditioning. So I don't want to leave it a week either because I want to put as much moisture into my hair as quickly as possible. So I washed my hair with the shampoo and conditioner. Then on the second day I went into the shower and just put conditioner on. This really, I think it's a new um, mask by Pantene. Now it's the Pantene Intense Hydration Surge with biotin and biobab essence sorbet mask. And I've used it, you'll be able to see that I've used it so I've used it once already and it's really really nice and I don't know if I wanted my hair to feel better or um, it just genuinely did feel better on the next day after I'd washed it but yeah it seemed to work so I'm going to kind of like continue to do that and maybe when maybe when I use the bed head again I'll use this as an intense conditioner as well after I've used that conditioner but then again it could be too much conditioner if I use the bedhead conditioner so I might just continue with what I'm doing um, 
but the girl that I spoke to said that she the girl that I spoke to on Instagram said that her hair was in really bad condition due to the fact that she used to bleach it and um, it was really badly fried she said so it should be able to help you I'm really really hoping that it will and along with this as well um, I don't know every other day or every two days after I put the shampoo and conditioner on that should help fingers crossed Right, then we've got a mousse. Like I said earlier, I tried to get a lighter mousse because I thought that, that mousse could be making it kind of more crispy, it could be weighing it down. I thought, why not try this from Boots' own range? So it's the Boots Curl Hair Mousse. Time to define. Treat your curls and waves to a natural looking hold. So it's natural looking hold without it being a heavy or medium hold. So yeah, I've tried it once, not too sure what I think about it yet. Again, we'll be talking about this in the next couple of months and I'll give you my overall opinions on any mousses that I've brought into the collection, any mousses that I've finished and what do I think of them. I do actually want to try the Cantu range as well because my hairdresser also recommended that range. I know mainly Cantu is for people um, who have Afro hair but at the moment, you, you know, I've got to take what I can get. Um, I mean, my hair is just really, really curly. She feels, that the hairdresser feels like I would benefit from it. So I might get a hair mask from the Cantu range and just see if that works. That's expensive though, isn't it? Cantu, it's so, so expensive. Oh yeah, when I place, this, is, this was so strange. When I placed a shampoo and conditioner order online and went to pick it up in store, in the box was this. And I'm thinking, Dior? Um, and I opened it and I got this card. So I got this card here. And it came with two samples. Now I don't have a hubby. So it came with the Dior Sauvage. Um, I don't know who to give that to. And it came with the Miss Dior Order Parfum. And this one is so nice guys. So nice. Um, not that my niece would agree. I think she feels like it's too strong. But yeah, love a good sample. I'm going to put both of them in my samples. If ever I think someone might want to try this, then I'll pass it on to them. Oh, wrong bag. Oh, last two things that I've been waiting very, very patiently because I need to put them away. I don't know where my pizza cutters have gone, guys. I have two pizza cutters. I've got a big one and I've got a small one. Can I find either of them? No. It's like they've got legs and they've just took themselves off somewhere but I saw this and it is the cutest pizza cutter isn't it nice and pink so that needs to go in my kitchen drawer and I was so impressed with Just Right Beauty brushes that I got I got some more of them they're just really really good guys so you get kind of a blending brush and you get a lash line brush which I'm always running short of I feel like next time I go I'll get some more because I feel like they're really really good and they're only like a pound a brush as well so two pound for the two um, so that's that and then we're going to go on to the second shall I do right what I'm going to do is I'm going to film a different video for the things that I got yesterday. So we'll do another haul for that. Um, so we'll leave this here guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, share, comment and subscribe because you know what? Sharing is caring and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.